The accused persons, Edward Boatin, Evans Ado, Yao Kusi, Michael Ousu, Yao Boatin, and Emmanuel Mensah, appeared before the Efijasi District Court on Tuesday. One other suspect, Yao Ofori, is at large, while the other suspect, Thomas Kusi, is on admission at the hospital following injuries he sustained during the scaffold. A police statement said the suspects, who were occupants in an overloaded taxi cab engaged in a scuffle with the police when they were stopped at a checkpoint near Kumewu. Police have charged the suspect with assaulting a public officer, conspiracy to commit a crime, and one other accused person was charged with aiding and abetting. The prosecutors pleaded with the court to remand the accused persons to give the police ample time to complete their investigations. Although the pleas of the accused persons were not taken, police insisted that they might tamper with ongoing investigations if they were granted bail. Counsel for the accused persons, Henry Ohimin Kumi, also prayed the court to grant his clients bail since they were not a flight risk and will avail themselves to police when they are needed. As it stands now, they've been brought before the courts. It's for the state to prove their case. And thereafter, if there is a need for the, um, my um, clients to put up a defense, they may do so. What the courts was informing us all was that in the event, we should be very careful, in the event that things do not go on well and that they are found liable, the court would not deal with them leniently, which I agree, we are all officers. Um, in as much as they are my clients, it is alleged that this is the offense they have committed. I would not advocate that um, people should go around attacking um, public officers. Relatives of the accused persons who thronged the court challenged the facts presented by the police to the court after the proceedings. <laughs> na enkola no ene wo ma ene na yakasa kasa enti de e to so me ensa no ye se wo munya ba ko pe enti o ba ko no mo se o se wo mfema wo mo wo mfema no no se wo mfema wo mo no mo de tu ya driver ne ne ka o se wo mpene no wo je ye wo je ye no kola ne ne ble e ma wo bo ba ko sun no 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 ye me ba e ma kola ne ne da moja o ba ye no call report ma police ne ba ko se de police ne no aye no ni enkola na twen se police ne no mbenya kasa bi I can be seen there, a crown and hoya dear. Womuamua. Oh, don't go, my country back, and then hear me. Oh, my drone, no police in our crown was said. Oh, mon fa and one more, no, so chief yanyabi. No, mum, a boy in yan one eh. I can't hear back, and hear me, eighty jafiano back, and no sompe. It will you also on pen, and no so over for so be a boot, can boot. Or the acrantini. It was an so we put a number, me baba one, Michael. So no, 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 me the bear, what my man, I'm sorry, I do a quite to turn a mum. Not as a honor. I might insane me be. The presiding judge, His Worship Frank Ni Ashite Ado, addressed the court before granting bail to the accused persons and said instances where civilians attacked public officers were disturbing and a threat to national security. He further said he will ensure the accused persons face the law if they are found guilty after investigations. He, however, said despite the actions of the accused persons being condemned they have some freedom and liberty to enjoy as stated in the constitution. He granted each of the seven accused persons 10,000 Ghana cities bail with one surety. The case has been adjourned to 28th April 2023. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Efijase, Ashanti Region.